Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If I look familiar, it's because I just recorded um, my eating disorder journey video. Um, but today's the day where I have a little bit of extra time, so I'm also going to knock out another YouTube video. And that's going to be, like the title, is a makeup for TV. What I do, I am not a makeup uh, pro at all. Oh, actually, I probably, you already see the title on this, but I'm going to put the word amateur in there somewhere because I don't know how to do makeup. I've never really learned. Um, I just kind of watch some videos and get whatever I can from it, but I am not a pro. So I kind of want to show what I do that works for me for makeup. If there's any other reporters or any other people who just really don't want to do that all out look or don't know how to and don't really desire to learn this is a very natural but still it looks like you have makeup on and um you just look more presentable especially on tv like i'm going to be today because there has been a shooting and i will be going live from that shooting so i'm gonna try to speed through this a little bit faster than usual just because i gotta head out of here but i just wanted to make this video so i have it all right we're jumping right in we got no time to wait so first things first we're gonna start off with a primer so i use it cosmetics I'm going to be including everything that I use in the description box below. So don't worry about like trying to remember everything if you guys want to use any of the products that I use. So first things first, we use It Cosmetics, um, your skin but better primer, oil free. So it's a makeup grooming, makeup grooming base, pore refiner, and hydrator, and hydrator, okay? So basically just to make sure my makeup stays on a little bit better and sticks and it's oil free. So I look matte. I hate looking oily on camera. I hate looking oily all around. Everything I use is matte, matte, matte. All right, perfect. So after we have that, we're gonna go in with foundation. So for normal every day, I use the It Cosmetics CC Cream, but today I'm gonna be a little bit more fancy and try to look a little bit more professional. So I'm gonna actually use real foundation. I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm gonna use this a couple of times because um, I went to Sephora and I'm like, hey, what do you recommend? They recommended this, so that's what I got. I don't know if it's really the best, but it works for me, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, it doesn't have some quick, like easy way to apply it, so I get a, I get a Q-tip and then I just put it everywhere and then I blend it in. So about blending it in, I used to um, blend in with a brush, like a makeup brush. But I just got a beauty blender and I, one day I'm like, you know what, let me try out using a beauty blender because maybe I like it better. I put this everywhere. I seem to tell. Oh, someone's calling me. One second. A few moments later. I just got a call from the other reporter on the story and he was just kind of telling me what we're going to do and stuff. So back to the makeup. All right. So I got this fancy dancy little makeup brush. Wait, not a makeup brush. I totally meant a sponge. So I got this sponge, and now we're gonna dab all around. So we're gonna fast forward this part. Okay, so I'm done with the foundation, but I feel like I still can do a little bit more coverage. I don't know why, like, you can't tell. I just feel like I can add a little bit more. So we're gonna add a little bit more. I also don't have um, concealer. I've really never used it. So I think I'm gonna just use this as my concealer. I don't know. I think I should start using concealer if you can recommend a good one for me. I've heard the Tarte one is good. Um, so I might go with that one next time I go shopping. Now, um, I like to use double foundation, first a liquid and then a matte. I use Makeup Forever. Um, I just feel like it mattifies my face a little bit more, adds some more coverage, and then I set that. So usually, at first I use a little brush that it comes with. I use that. And I put that all over. Okay, after I've used the little brush it comes with, then I use just a regular brush, just to kind of like pat it in a little bit more. Guys, the amount of like, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> in this video is insane. Okay, good to go with the foundation part. And now we're gonna go ahead and set that. So. I have Laura Mercier, I have the travel version. So I actually, I don't know. I never know what to apply with with a, with a beauty blender or with like the brush. So I think today I'm gonna go for a brush. So I get the cap, the top, whatever. And then we go ahead and get some. So I get really oily around my tea, story of every girl's life. So I put it there. And if anyone has any tips for me, I would greatly appreciate that. 
I don't necessarily like bake. I just try to like tap it in like this and just put it in right away, not like wait. You know, you know how people like wait, they leave it on their face. Sometimes I do that, but I don't know if that's really ever made that much of a difference. So I don't really mind. Okay, then I just put it all over my face. Just make sure everything, there's powder. It's mattified as much as possible. Oh God, I got it in my eye. Okay. Alrighty. So now, as you can tell, I look like a ghost. Like there's no dimension to my face. So now we're gonna add in some bronzer and give myself some cheekbones and some color, like if I'm alive. So for that, we are gonna get this handy dandy brush. I use the butter bronzer this is what i use in the beginning and then i use another bronzer that's a little bit darker but this is kind of like a really natural looking bronzer just may create more like natural cheekbones because i don't have so first we do my neck and i just go like this so that way you can see you can see more of that like you know that thing because i don't have that <laughs> so after i've done i put a bunch of bronzer there i will go to my cheekbones I saw on TikTok that you have to do it like higher up, not like down there, but higher up here. So how's everyone doing today as I'm doing my contour? Um, has everyone had a good day today? Comment below what day of the week it is for you. Um, is it a weekend? Today is a Saturday for me, at least when I'm doing my makeup, but... I don't know when you guys will see this. Okay, then I like to put a little bit on my nose. Just to kind of, again, add some more color. So I use that whole, the three, you know, have you heard to do like a three? So that's what I do. That's the places where I put on this one. And I just move it. Now we're gonna go in for a little bit more of a brighter, like contour bronzer thing. So we're gonna use this, the Tarte Pro Glow. Um, so funny story, all the makeup I have, it's actually my sister's because she used to be really into makeup, and then one day she like got over it and stopped, and so I just took all her makeup. So like I have all these like brand things, I haven't bought any of it. It, it was all hers. So. Thank you, sister, if you watch this for not liking makeup. So I'm using this one right here. I'm just gonna put that the same place. I put the other bronzer. And this one has a little bit of a shimmer. So we like that, we like some shimmer. I just bought these clips that you, they're like the no, the no, what's that called? The clips that don't put a dent in your hair. I forgot what that's called. But I just bought those, um, so I'm excited to get them in so that way I can do my makeup without having to worry about my hair coming forward. I mean, I guess I could put on a ponytail, but like, the light turned off. The bathroom, my bathroom light turns off automatically, which is good, because the amount of times I probably have kept it on, it's not good. Okay, so we have more of that look. Oh my God, I love a clown. Anyway, now we're gonna do some highlight. And so for highlight, I use the same little thingy and I use the top one, this one right here. And I highlight the top. I used to hate highlight, but now I love it. Put it up here. And then lately I put it also on my nose, especially my tip. And I love it, which sucks actually, because I love my little highlight on my nose and I can't, when I put on the mask, that's the first thing to go. So I really don't know why I put it because it's gonna go away anyway, but just for all intensive purposes of the fact that I do put it on. And then I'm gonna put some on my top lip and my cheek, my chin. Okay, this looks really crazy on there, but it actually does not, it does not look that highlighted on T on like my mirror, so. Um, it looks, looks good, looks good, looks good. 
Now we're gonna work on the eyes. So I have this e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow from high school. And basically I just do light colors on the inside, dark on the outside. So we got this little tiny brush and we're gonna do this color, just like yellowy-ish. We're gonna put that all inside my eye. Like that, I like to make sure I put it in my corner. Then with the same little palette thing that I have, I use this color, that brown, this brownish color. So I use a different brush, tap it off, and then I just do that little corner thing that you learn in like high school. So I do that. This actually always comes out looking so nice and I don't know how the magic of like these two colors. I don't know, but it looks really cute. So I like doing it. Do it on the other side. I also don't fill in my eyebrows. I mean, I will brush them out, but I have really thick eyebrows and dark eyebrows as it is. And I wanna have lighter eyebrows cause I'm like blonder. So I don't want the difference to be too intense. You know what I mean? Between my eyebrows and my hair. So I just brush them out. I thought about bleaching them like a little bit, to, not bleaching them, but like making them a lighter color. And I always just stop myself because I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if this would be a smart idea. Let's not. Okay, so this is what the eyes look like. I'm gonna show you. Like it's not the best, but on TV, it looks so nice. I promise you, actually in this video, Future Sophie, as you're editing this, please insert how I look on TV after, at the end of this. So you can see that it looks cute on TV in person, it's just my ring not the best. All right, now I'm not sure if I'm gonna do lashes. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do lashes. I wanna have more of like a brighter eye look, so we're gonna do that. So first things first, I, I'm gonna add in some top eyeliner. I cannot show you how I do this because I barely know how to do it myself, but I use Maybelline New York or Random Line Stiletto, and I'm gonna go use my little up close mirror to do this. So I'll be back once I have done my top eyeliner. All right, I did my top eyeliner, not good, my eye eye. But to be honest, I never stress out about the top eyeliner because I'm gonna cover it with the lashes. So I more or less just do it so that way I have um, like a nice, lash base you know so i don't like i would never do this without putting on lashes okay so i use the ardell wispy demi wispies lashes so we're gonna go ahead and grab this right here okay so lashes are on as you can tell see so from far away this looks a little bit brighter because i have pretty good lashes but you know on tv they kind of like dim down so we have that pretty much we are done but I want you guys to see what this looks like in the lighting because this lighting in, in this room is like terrible. Before I show you guys what it looks like in the light, obviously I know I have to wear lipstick, but I don't like wearing the lipstick until right before I'm gonna go on and I'm not gonna go on for another six hours. So, but this is the one I'm gonna be using. I'm using the Melted, Melted Matte from Too Faced Liquefied Matte Mascara. I mean, matte lipstick. Um, so it's a really pretty color. Jeez, focus, focus. It's probably not gonna focus, of course. Yeah, it's not focusing. I don't know how to do this. And so I'm gonna put this on and it'll be a nice little pop of color to my face. And obviously we gotta set some setting spray. So I use probably a $1 one from NYX, Matte Finish Finny Mite. Matte Finish Finny Matte. Oh, that's in French. <laughs> Finny Matte. Um, and then we're gonna spray. I used to be so scared of spraying this and now it's like, give it to me. Okay. So as it's tonight, we're gonna put it in our pocket. So remember, um, for right now, I just like to put on a little bit of a pop of color. It's a lip, lip treatment. So it's the Sugar Rose Fresh. So um, I've talked about this in other videos, I think. But it's just like a chapstick. And it still adds a little bit of color for right now. So I'm not like a crazy person. And I'll show you what it looks like in real life. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like. Um, not my best work, not my worst, but it goes on TV and that's all that I care about. It looks okay on TV. Kelly, the Sangamon County coroner identified. 
He identified the 22-year-old victim as Carlos Dozier. Now, here on the scene, there's still signs of a lot of chaos that ensued last night. So, on the floor, lots of glass. And I'm going to take a step out here so you can see how the glass... Um, but, you know, basically... Yeah, it's just not look as good as I thought it would. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, sometimes I wish I could go on without makeup. Not because I think I look super good without makeup, but it's just because... I don't know how to do makeup, so it's a little bit frustrating for me when it doesn't come out the way I want it to. But again, I'm just trying to be very honest with you guys. I'm not the biggest makeup type of gal, um, but this looks good, so I'll be like this far away, and I'll be like... Yes, I'm here at the scene of the shooting where all we know so far is five people were shot. One of those unfortunately did pass away and two are victims right now in the hospital, and we don't know their condition. Something like that. I just made that up, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway... That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm sorry if this was like such a waste of your time. But someone said they wanted um, a video of me doing my makeup. So that's what this is. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.